Hi there, this is Solid Your Own from Solid Your Own Films and welcome to Actors, Six of the Best. Um, today we're going to talk about somebody's in the argument for favourite actor of all time, greatest actor of all time, Max von Sydow, Max von Sydow. Obviously famous for his collaborations with Bergman. But for six of the best, I'm only going to include two Bergman. Obviously, I could have just included six Bergman films. Um, but he did have more strings to his bow than Bergman. He spent a lot of his career making films in Hollywood. Perhaps not being the lead character, but generally turning up, being brilliant and um, walking away with the film. It is a bit um, kind of sad when you put in Max von Sydow. The first thing that comes up is Game of Thrones. He was also in the newer Star Wars films. I kind of knew I was going to dislike the new Star Wars films when they kill Max von Sydow off in 10 minutes. It's like Max von Sydow should have played every character in the new Star Wars films. Um. Obviously, logistically, that might have been quite difficult, but CGI and um, if Jeremy Irons did it in Dead Ringers, Max von Sydow could have played every character in the Star Wars films. Um, but I digress. So, I'm just going to, as I say, include two Bergman films. Again, six of the best. They don't need to be six in a row for this series, because obviously actors sometimes do films to pay for a holiday or a new house. So I'm just picking six of the best. But again, when Von Sydow, you could do 26 of the best. And again, this series is all about you and your choices. Because it's always fascinating to read which performances you prefer. So it's an obvious choice. But this is probably the performance that he is most known for, apart from obviously Star Wars and Game of Thrones. In 1957, Seven Seal. Don't need to say too much about it, um, as Mr. Block. Um, this is the Blu-ray from the BFI Volume 2. Yes, I have the Bergman box. And yes, I have also bought the BFI ones because um, there's slight differences. That's my justification. Um, Seven Seal is classic. Von Sido is just iconic in it. Um, he probably looks the most gorgeous he's ever looked. Um, that big long face, those cheekbones, the way he moves, the elegance. Um, it's a wonderful film and a wonderful performance. So for the second Bergman choice, I'm going to go to 1968, a film that is difficult um, and challenging. Quite a lot of Bergman cinema. Um, but I'm going to go with Shame with Liv Ullman. This is in the, the Criterion Bergman box. Because um, it's it's almost just a double header with one sit down and Liv Ullman. Um, about a couple who are caught within this civil war. Um, it's one of those Bergman films I mean, obviously, Hour of the Wolf is more obviously has kind of horror elements, but Shame is pretty horrific. Um, pretty brutal. And Von Sydow plays a character who is kind of lost. Um, and it's just a wonderful 
performance, not surprisingly, um, by Von Sydow. Um, obviously, Liv, Ull Liv Ullman's brilliant as well. And it is definitely one of Bergman's toughest, uncomfortable um, films. Um, but that's my second Bergman. As I say, you could just do six Bergmans, but that's perhaps not as interesting as picking other films, um, as far as a bit of variety. So then we're going to go to 1971 and 1972 um, for The Emigrants and The New Land. Again, co-starring Liv Ullman. This is Jan Trolls. Two film set, which is about six and a half hours. But six and a half hours with one side down Ullman, you can certainly um, spend a worse six and a half hours um, with Adam Sandler, perhaps. Um, this is probably the most accurate portrayal of people from Europe travelling to America. Lots of films kind of have, oh yeah, they're travelling to America, we're a wee bit sick in the boat, oh, we're at America. Um, this one goes into minute detail of their poor farming lives, a chance to begin again. The journey is horrendous. Um, things go horribly wrong. Um, they reach the new land. They have their struggles. Um, and Troll really makes it... Shoots it in a way that every little detail matters. Every little event matters. Every decision has serious consequences. The characters are beaten down um, by life, by their struggles. Um, but it's a wonderful film. It doesn't sound like a wonderful film, but it is a wonderful film. Again, not a film that you would watch uh, once a month, um, or a double bill of once a month. Um, but it is just a wonderfully crafted, it's shot beautifully, um, and two towering central performances by Ullman and Von Sydow. So we're going to go to one of his American films in 1975. And this is Three Days of the Condor with Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway. Um, this is one of those examples of Von Sydow not being the lead, um, playing a support part but being absolutely brilliant and kind of overshadowing everybody else um, because he's just so good. Um, everybody knows Three Days of the Condor. Robert Redford works for a government office. He goes out for a bite to eat, comes back and everybody's in shot and goes on the run, doesn't know who to trust, meets Faye Dunaway. Um, Von Sydow is just brilliant, as he always is. Um, 1980, another iconic performance in one of the greatest films ever made. Um, I'm obviously talking about Flash Gordon. His performance as Ming the Merciless is one of the great villainous performances of all time because he plays it as seriously as he would um, a Bergman film um, the way he moves the way he eats grapes the way he open, he's kind of makes his eyes wide open when he's using the ring on Dale Arden um, the way he clenches his fist he just walks he just has this wonderful dictator Nobody can touch me. I can do whatever I like. There's no consequences to my actions. He just revels in that power. Um, and again, it is just one of the great um, villainous roles. He is just fantastic in it. Um, this is a Mondo Steelbook. 
um, Flash Gordon. Again, it's it's in the argument for my favourite film of all time. Um, but again, if somebody else was playing Ming the Merciless, it just wouldn't be. Because let's be honest, we don't watch Flash Gordon for Sam Jones as Flash Gordon. Apologies, Sam Jones. Um, for me, this is all about Clytus and it's all about Ming and Von Sydow is just fantastic. Um, is um, Ming the Merciless. Um, it's one of his seminal roles. Um, and I'm going to finish off um, from 1995. This is just one of my favourite films as well. Unfortunately, we'll probably never see it on Blu-ray because it's an HBO movie. Um, it's Citizen X, um, based on the true story of the first that we know of Russian serial killer, um, Chikatilo, which I remember seeing him um, in court in a glass cage when he was eventually caught. And this is the story of this. Now, obviously it stars Donald Sutherland and Stephen Ray as Russians. Obviously they speak English. Um, Joss Ackland with a ridiculously um, scenery-chewing performance. Max von Sydow, again, he's not in it until perhaps the last half hour. But again, he just makes such... An impression. He is the psychiatrist or psychologist that the police use to kind of get a psychological profile and he actually goes in with Chikatilo and reads out his profile to see if anything will trigger and if they can break him because again time is running out before they have to release him and Von Sydow plays it as somebody who is nervous because he's in a room with this child murderer, this teenage, um, killed children and teenagers. Um, so he plays that nervousness, but he also kind of plays the professional and also, you know, he's curious, he's inquisitive about this person that's across the table from him. It's just a wonderful performance of, you know, for my scientific, for my knowledge I want to do this, but I am really nervous and really scared about this, um, because the police kind of gather all these psychiatrists, psychologists together and ask for a volunteer and of course nobody says anything until once a doubt comes out, once they've actually left and says, you know, I'm not sure I really want to do this, but I kind of want to help you out um, it's just a wonderful performance it's a wonderful film yes it's an HBO film so it is shot in that kind of flat TV way um, it's not that visually interesting um, but the characters are just wonderful Donald Sutherland and Stephen Ray are just wonderful as well um, but it's kind of an example of those films that one said I did where again he might only be on screen for half an hour but again he's got such a presence, such a voice um, that he is quite wonderful. So that's the six of the best that I've chosen for Max von Sydow. Obviously, as I said, we could have had 26 of the best. But what are your favourite six performances by the wonderful man? So thanks very much for watching. Again, Please leave your choices in the comments and hopefully join me again for more actors. Six of the best. The next one's very special to me. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films. Sing farewell. <laughs>